Hello witches, May 2022 witch casket has arrived and I'm super excited to get into it. All the links are down below and let's get started. Actually, I'll give you a quick peek of the places you can go to get your own witch casket. It's all vegan and eco-friendly. First, we have the information leaflet, which I shall look through at the end, but I won't right now just for spoilers. I will have a check the inside. Oh, it's beautiful. I love that. I love that this month they have decided to go for a very neutral colour palette, which I absolutely adore. First off, we will have a look at the art print. It's very simple, but I absolutely love this, and I will definitely be displaying it. As on the back, it's a witch casket exclusive, so you'll not be able to get it anywhere else. Wonderful. This burlap bag is not only sitting on the top, but calling out to me. How beautiful is that? Let's have a look inside. I have a little peeky peek. And there is a bag of lavender. This, which at first glance looks rather naughty, I won't lie. However, I did admire the engraving it had on the side and I don't think I got it to focus on camera, which was a shame. However, this is a optimizer spray bottle, which is super cool. Please excuse my filming this month. It is a bit all over the place. I had to do this very quickly before I came out. Um, and have uploaded lately, so sorry about that. And then we had some rose quartz chips, which are absolutely beautiful, and they're quite deep in colour to be fair as well, so they're not the lowest quality, which is very nice. And then the little card that comes with it, I shall place this on the screen as always, and you can pause and have a look. I thought it'd be nice to place some clips of me actually using the items that come in the casket as I do monthly. So here is me seeping the lavender that came in this kit. And then filling the spray bottle a little with the lavender elixir. A little bit too much there and I had to empty some out. After all, we do need to put some rose quartz in and the wonderfully large chunks they gave me earlier um, didn't fit so much. However, I did find one piece that went in. The rest of them I did try, but it didn't go to plan. So we've stuck with the one. It is a very powerful crystal and I'm sure that's all it's needed anyway. And as you can see, it worked wonderfully, and I'll save the other chips for crystal gridding. The next item was the tea, which is right up my street. I absolutely love a cup of tea. And it reads, relax and enjoy our healing blend of rose and mint. Brew with intent, drink mindfully and affirm. In this witch's brew, I find natural healing for body and mind. And the ingredients are rose and mint. I have picked my little hedgehog cup for protection and the green rim which will help with health. I always keep my teas in a particular container, so they're just for me. And look at this bag, isn't this absolutely beautiful? I wondered what colour the water would go, so comment down below if you have a guess. I had some sweetness in there, just to sweeten the deal, and I have made it quite sweet. 
as some of these teas can be a little bit bitter, although it was not, trust me, but although it might have helped with the amount of sweetness I put in. And in the end, if you guessed that the colour would be a sort of greenish colour, then you were correct. I thought it was going to go pink, so I was very wrong in this circumstance. Next, I found this wooden intention healing easel. I adore the little Zomotit B, and it's a fully wooden item, there's no plastic involved, so I really like this. And picked the opportunity to put the beautiful artwork on top of it, which I will later display on my mantle. Then there's this little baggie here, which is the crystal, which I'm always super, super excited for. And this month we got amethyst. I received a beautiful piece of chevron amethyst with this sigil in, which I'm guessing has to do with healing, and I shall read the card shortly. But they never skimp on the tumbles, they're always super chunky. And then we'll have a look at that card, which reads, Inscribed with our powerful healing sigils, amethyst is an excellent physical and emotional healer. An amethyst calm, serene energy makes this a great meditation aid. Amethyst is also a natural tranquilizer. It relieves stress and strain, soothes anxiety and irritability, and calms anger, fear, and grief. And of course, Monday before magical, as says down the bottom, and a witch casket exclusive. Then we have this little enamel pin. Always one of my favourite things is I collect enamel pins and this is absolutely gorgeous. I could not get over the simplicity and beauty of this piece. The back, again, excellent for scrapbooking. Very, very happy with this month's enamel pin. This will definitely go in my collection. Reaching right over now for this absolutely glorious tea strainer. You would have seen me use this earlier when I steeped the lavender. Although, don't worry, it's not broken. I did drop it a couple of times. This is a healing amethyst potion infuser, which is fantastic for all your elixirs and potions, while bringing peace of mind. It is wonderfully made and there's no gaps in the closing and the amethyst hangs gently at the bottom which will sit outside your teacup as you brew or your pot whichever you wish to make trying to get to the camera to focus and there we go so i'm very happy with this i do love a cup of tea as i said earlier and this will get well used this i have been eyeing up for a little while at this point and i could see the crystal ridding across the top which you know very excited about i have got a crystal grid but i normally draw it or it's just a printout so to have a wooden crystal grid was very nice and then within this wooden box as well being able to place intentions within the box is fantastic then we slide it open and this is our monthly spell i should imagine as we didn't get a um bag this month we've got some beautiful pieces of amethyst inside in a little baggie and then a couple of pieces of card, just letting us know exactly how to use the crystal healing box. And again, I shall leave on the screen, so you may pause if you wish to make your own and or use a box and draw on the top perhaps a crystal grid if you don't have one. It comes within a few pages, so please just bear with me while I show these on the screen. Please be aware that the kunzite included in the centre was not included in the box, however I have placed from my own personal collection. Then I knew there was something that was making the smell absolutely divine and it is the surround yourself with healing vibrations of jasmine and rose incense. I surround myself with the healing energies, vibrations which soothe my heart and soul and that is to be affirmed while lighting.
Then the last item is the Witch's Scroll, which I shall open up off screen. And I shall place this over the top. So if you want to pause and write it down, you are more than welcome. Please excuse the lighting. I did not have my usual setup as I normally would. And I hope you can see this properly. Oh, if you do like this video, please give it a like. It would really help me out. Just thought I'd put that in there. It also tells YouTube's algorithms this is a good video and it recommends to other people. So we have the scroll, the rose and jasmine incense, the healing optimizer kit, the display and healing easel the crystal grid and manifestation box, the enamel pin, the information leaflet, the artwork, the tea, the amethyst potion and elixir infuser, and the chevron amethyst tumble. If you liked this, again, please um, consider clicking the subscribe down the bottom, <laughs> thumbs up, Honestly, it does help. Um, yeah. And I shall read this through afterwards. And I really enjoyed this casket. Thank you so much, Witch Casket, for this. Again, all vegan and eco friendly. So, bye. Oh, for anybody wondering, it didn't stay green. It went to this sort of amber colour. It was still very nice.